care by God, we're going on just do our baseline pull to see what it is before and after the dump pipe change. PSI we did 269 and 257 torque and on 28 PSI we did 322 and 275 torque and this is the two and a half inch down pipe so we'll see what happens when we go to the three inch we'll be back and testing to see if it improves up top or what the Pulsar G25 came with a three inch back end but we use my existing two and a half inch down pipe to work for the meantime so what we're gonna do now is upgrade to a three inch and see what kind of difference it makes and freeze up any power we believe it may or may not have a little bit of restriction due to that so we'll be testing it out to see um, you know when you see this Evo, I mean Lancer pull up it's business big things gonna happen today Learn more about this car. Comment. Out now to try and fit three inches in between this piece here. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael, Michael please. Serious. So down pipe is completed, we also had to do over this section here to make it into the tree inch to go all the way to the cutout over here. So we have three inch of the turbo coming down three inch all here, three inch up till about there so and then there's the two and a half inch cutout.
last thing we have to install is this guy here so we can hook it up in the corner and get some fresh air coming out from the fog light finish underneath here well got it fitted somewhat so see through here goes all the way up inside some fresh air so we're pretty much done there change down pipe three inch exhaust up to the cutout the cutout is a two and a half inch then we also rerouted the air filter to the end here and also did some DEI tape on it so let's hear how she sounds now with the all this extra stuff drive and see if the car leaned out or anything like that with the additional flow so we head to that On the dyno, um, we saw some smoke on the twin gear pull, and we pull on the gearbox only to realize the release bearing seals. So, um, the guys came together and we got that changed out in about six hours. Drop the gearbox, put it back together, and ready to race on Sunday. So, you can check out some good kind of footage. Must say, shout out to dry because um, we're on the way up right now, and we didn't get to finish everything on the dyno last night, and we rode tune. I just did boost my gear there as I was spinning it up a second. So, yeah, man.
Right, so remember, he's here on the hairpin, trying to get the car to him, then as much as possible. Set up for the left hand. Right, ready. Oil. So saying bye bye Axel, but it's bye bye um gearbox. So now it's time to scrap out and see what's going on. We saw some filings in the gearbox. Now the axles are broken, so we're gonna scrap out and see what exactly is the problem. Alright, so the box is out, so just waiting on Rannan to come and scrap it out and see what's going on with it. Turn the side, let me see. Look at it there. Yep. Oh. Look at the pieces. Oh, you use it. <laughs> Good stuff. See, I have no more teeth, it's toothless. Well, the teeth's there. I was telling tell Daniel it is it, it, a give and take because it, it would cause problems in terms of how it does lock. So I was telling him if it push like when he launch, I push and lock this side, but this side didn't lock. It would spin the gears on top, it would move, and this side locks. So what you do now is try to.
box back in, mounts bolted up just to do radiator and to pull the pipe in, battery and a couple little bits and ready to start up. Really good stuff. So the difference with the train, she didn't get that big difference in power but the response and the, the here so you're seeing a 20 something difference here and also 20 something torque here by going with the train so it really did make a big difference set up we have the maxi series and then we have the pulsar g25 550 both supplied by ultimate sport tuning aka kes we have the myvec head with the oil pump to match we have forge rods and semi forge pistons 44 millimeter wastegate evo 6 aluminum rad evo 7 into cooler and piping Random no name air filter, all fabrication done by Brandon. Our uh, oil filter relocator kit with the oil cooler underneath, four port boost solenoid, the air motive fuel pressure regulator. You also have the one inch master cylinder here from the Evos to go with the Revos. ACT Extreme pressure plate, also running water mat, 4G69 throttle body with the matching pedal, Subaru 550cc injectors, yes, 
Subaru made by Denso. But yeah, Denso injectors. And that's pretty much it there. All the fluids on the car are also liquid molly, all sponsored by PRS Performance. We did end up damaging the oil seal on the turbo due to excessive oil pressure. Uh, shout out to the guys at Pulsar who sent me a replacement. I mean, if you all want to send a G30 660 as well, I don't mind. I like to test that and see uh, what kind of power we can get out of that, you know. We took the feet from the head to go to turbo rather than off the sandwich plate, so we'll get less oil pressure. So we ended up with 326 horsepower and 28 psi, which is the most you wouldn't push on top gas. I'm uh, really satisfied with how everything works, you know, the spool and everything is, is on point. Um, I know everyone wants a comparison between this and the, the Garrett, but I really can't give a comparison as it's two different types of tools. One was a 2860 R Garrett and this is the G25 550. And it's also different size back ends. Um, I really expected it to be a lot larger, but you know, I trusted um, boy Jaron, who sized the turbo for me. Uh, especially as we went from a 64 back end to a 72 back end, which is a little bigger. And to me, honestly, it spools just as same as the, the smaller turbo I had on. And the response is there, up top feels ridiculous. So, this turbo works really, really good in my eyes. Um, who knows, maybe sometime in the future we would go to probably another mixture of race gas and see what we get. But for now, the tune is nice. Um, everything is set up good and now we could actually focus on just racing for the year as the racing season has started and just to finish, get the car to where we want it to be. So tune in. Tune in is good. We have dry, do the tuning on the maxi seal. Cats for support. This is a big milestone for me because I always wanted to reach that 300 and we did reach it with the last turbo and it died uh, about a month after. Excessive jam. I just wanted to shout out to everybody who assisted with getting the car organized and ready as we had to pull down gearbox twice. Once before the event and once after the event. You know, that was a great, great helpful. Next event we will be at will be Autocross 2 on May the 15th where we'll be there doing more testing, more driving, more jamming and pushing it to the max. Enjoy it and follow me for the ride. Thanks again. Like, comment, subscribe.